Welcome to the Love Them Knives channel. LTK here. I've been waiting for this knife to come in and this is in my giveaway. So my 4,000 subscriber giveaway and if this is like 2018, you're too late. <laughs> you're way too late. If it's past July 6th of 2017, you're too late. But you can still learn about the Horus. Yeah, real steel. You like these open? Look at the look at the open pivots back here. Uh, that's not a pivot, but I mean this is. Okay, so it's open like this. So this was weird. I mean, I was playing with this knife here. Take a look at this before I go into my story. Right there, you go. The E eight o two, and this is a Sandvik fourteen C twenty eight N steel. Blue, G10, black, and blue. I don't know if this, if these scales will vary. I mean, since this is kind of machined away to, to, you know, it's in layers. So if you might end up with a knife that's like, like the, my Benchmade Contigo that's Knife Works exclusive. They have the blue and black G10 scales, but some of them are more blue. Some of them are more black. That might be a possibility here since these are machined like that you might end up with something this is mostly black but you might get something that's more blue <laughs> just flip it over okay so you got blue thumb studs you can get these knives there's okay let's you can get this these without a thumb stud and it's just a nail nick in here and that's an option. Um, and they call that the Horus Free, I think, is the terminology there. So uh, I want the thumb studs. First of all, I like the blue hardware on here. Second of all, I like thumb studs. If you're not going to be a flipper, you could be a flicker. And liner lock. So that's a heavy lock up. That's right in there. 40-something percent, maybe 50. So that's good. Nice thick liners, and they've skeletonized them, haven't they? Look down there. Boom, boom, boom. Three, and then four deals, and then they've done a little bit back in here. And then you can see the standoff is blue. And thumb studs, blue. Why they didn't do a blue pocket clip? Crazy people. So look at that. Wow, that is so smooth. This knife... It's so smooth. It's a great flicker. And you know what? It was, it really, these bearings that they use, and I'm not sure if these are those needle bearings or not. They use them a lot in the real steel knives, so they might be needle bearings. In any case, oh, by the way, when you open it up, slide this forward. See that? That keeps you from being able to disengage the liner lock. So then, you know, you don't have to worry about this closing up on you, which is kind of nice. And it's really stealth, so they don't make a big deal about it. But it's there, which is, I really like it as a safety feature. You know, it's, let's talk about this. See here, they've got a little bit of jimping here. So this pass through makes it really easy to disengage the liner. Really nice and smooth. And wherever that detent is, the detent ball is, you're passing it by real easy. So it just, you know, it doesn't hang up somewhere like at an odd angle where you got to get over that and you slam the blade down in your thumb because it finally bops over there. This is really smooth. Now, <laughs> let's try, let's try a neat little trick. Okay, come on. Yeah, see? I used to, used to could. Okay. Well, on my giveaway video, <laughs> which won't be posted like for forever, but you can flick this with your middle finger. Oh my God. No, nope, but I can't. I did it on my other video, but apparently I've lost all balance now. In any case, so you can flick it with your middle finger. You got to have a long enough middle finger and uh, whatever. So you could just and now I can't flick this either. So for some reason, I've lost all capabilities. Three and three quarter inch blade. You want to put this down here? Yeah. Three and three quarter. 
Let's get big, ugly, yellow Bertha out here. She's so much easier to look at. really is. Um, three and three quarter. And that's what they say in the, in the paperwork anyhow. And out here is eight and a half. Eight and a half overall. So what's that in metrics? Well, it looks like it's about 90 millimeters and not quite 22 centimeters overall. What do we got? How fat is the handle? I like it because it's G10 and it's pretty thick. Look at that. Almost six tenths of an inch, which I like. Gives you a handful. Almost 15 uh, millimeters. And blade stock, do you think that's four? Eh, it's not. Three, three and a half. Three and a half. So that'd be a little over uh, eighth inch. 0.13 something. Three and a half millimeters look plenty good to me. And there's your blade stop. It's smooth. It's really smooth. <laughs> I'm not going to try and flick it anymore. There you go. See, I'm back. I'm back. In any case, so it comes. And, and I like real steel because, and this is another, I think this is even another you know, knife that some people won't review because they are not certain about their ability to adjust or I don't know these are sold like right here in the US of A uh, you get the paperwork and stuff check down in here the knife comes rolled up in this microfiber cloth with the real steel logo on it and stuff so that's really cool how do we get that already oh that's just that's something okay so came in there I was just excited because I saw that they were coming out and didn't know anything about them but I I like the design now, you don't have any jimping up here or anything, but it's a really nice stone wash. Really nice stone wash. And these open holes, look, you got two screws on your pocket clip. Nice. And it's, like I said, deep carry. You know? Pretty cool. Okay, so I was messing with this the other day. And uh, <laughs> opening, it was almost, you know, this thing is so smooth, it's almost like a fidget tool. You can just sit there and do this, you know. But after a while, I go, this is almost too good. I wonder if I got some blade play. And no, I don't. But I did. I did. Um, and so, I go, what am I going to do? It's open here. Um, I stuck this number nine Torx down here, and I hit something, and, and then I could turn it. So you might be able to put a number nine, number 10 in there. And, uh, well, see, I'm unscrewing it now. See? And so, yeah, it's just centered up perfect. I don't know. But, you know, I, I've got this on my giveaway, and I told the people on the giveaway, I said, I'm not going to unscrew that and Loctite it and then set it uh, unless you want me to. Otherwise, you can do it yourself and decide what you want for tension on the pivot because different people like different types of things. So, but it's a good size knife, right? Not quite a four inch blade unless you're measuring down here and then it almost is. Nice little sharpening choil area. Paperwork. So, uh, could never figure this out. Um, oh, this is off the uh, Real Steel site. So, and that's the one with the thumb studs, okay? So, if you want to pause and read, you know, <sighs> rollerball bearing. There you go. Um, G10, blah, blah, blah. Hollow centered uh, torque screws. Easy cleaning and maintenance. There you go. Um, what did I see on here? Oh, this was, uh, I think this is a knife outlet. So I think this is where I found the best prices on this. And I can't, I can't tell you the difference. This is 7432 and this is 7432, I believe. Yeah. Okay. So this is weird because they have, um, they say it's three and a half and it's not. Um, this is the one, you know, they have it in, there's the nail neck 
one, version and they have it in black and, and gray or they have it in blue like mine. And look at, there's more blue on that scale than what mine came. Well, no, about the same. But it was really strange because there was $49 and then it's $59. And I couldn't tell the difference between which model it was. The 7433, see, that's the free. And free means no, no thumb studs. Other than that, it should be the same knife. But I don't know. Why is 159? Why is 169? I have no idea. I couldn't figure that one out. You explain it to me. I don't know if they made a mistake and doubled up on it. But where I bought mine, they just had the regular and the free. The free being the nail nick one, the regular being that. Both, you can get them in gray and black or you can get them in blue and black. So I got one in blue and black. So, they're pissing me off. I'm going to cut them up. There you go. And Sandvik Steel. Go big or go home. Quit being weird here. There you go. Yeah, it works. You know, a lot of chef's knives and knives that get around moisture and things like that because, because you know, if you're in a kitchen environment or whatever, then, you know, you've got moisture around. you got the propensity to get rust and things if you don't take care of your blades. So the Sandvik, this 14C28N was requested uh, by Kershaw back in the day. To be developed to increase the corrosion resistance so these should be pretty rust free knives if you just take minimum care of them and they should sharpen up really really well and have reasonable you know edge retention nothing like a super steel but you know a lot of chefs you know they kind of like uh working for a while and then they'll put it on a steel or something or strope and and resharp and they you know they it's so easy to deal with it that way, uh, maybe they prefer this. Just saying, this and 440, and even some VG10 get used a lot in uh, kitchen stuff. So, uh, let's put this baby on the scale. It's kind of a fatty. It's 5.1, that's not very heavy. But they did, you know, 145 grams. Not bad, just a little over five. But you know, it's thick this way, which is nice in the hands, really is. Feels good in the hands, really no hot spot there on that pocket clip. It doesn't really come up a long way off the scale. Pretty smooth, nice that way. Nice reverse grip. Yeah, I mean, it feels good in the hand, really does. Where's the balance point at? It's kind of fur down the scale, isn't it? It's not very close to the pivot, actually. But I don't know, it, it does feel really good. Like the blade design, you know, you really almost got a flat grind there, so it should be a great slicer. You got a lot of material coming up here, so probably pretty good at piercing too. You know, I like the fact they give you a good crush-proof box, a little bit of paperwork, uh, microfiber cloth, all for like whatever it was, $49 or $59, whichever knife outlet wanted to charge you because I, I couldn't figure that part out. Maybe you can. In any case, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, it's a good knife. Oh, hey, if you want to compare the size... And I forget to do this all the time. But, you know, there's the Manex. So what do you think? It's a bigger knife than the Manex, isn't it? Yes, it is. I always kick myself when I don't do a little knife size comparison. And I've been kicking myself a lot because I'll go right through the whole thing. I mean, it's not like we don't measure it and like you probably have a good idea. But sometimes side by side with something familiar. Yeah. It's a bigger knife. It's a bigger knife. It's definitely a heavier knife than this little dog. That's my super light carry. But yeah, oh, but it's smooth, smooth, really smooth. Thank you so much for joining me. You know what we do. 
We love them knives. Stay sharp.